Now at some point you might have gone to rewire a plug and found that it doesn't have an earth wire in it. Despite having a metal earth pin still, you can see this one here actually has an earth wire in it. Now some plugs will just have a plastic earth pin and not your brass. The reason for not requiring an earth wire is that if an appliance is double insulated, it doesn't have to have an earth wire. For an appliance to be classed as double insulated, the basic requirement is that one single fault can't cause any metal parts to become live. This is usually achieved by having at least two layers of insulating material between your live conductors and the outside of the appliance. Phone chargers and toothbrush chargers are great examples of these because the DC current that charges your phone or your toothbrush is isolated from the AC current coming out the wall. This lamp is another example. Internally, all the conductors will still be double insulated, so it doesn't actually require an earth wire despite the lamp being metal. You might wonder why they bother to have an earth pin at all on a plug. The reason is the earth pin is slightly longer than the rest. That's needed for UK sockets, as there is a shutter over the live and neutral terminals on the socket, and the earth pin goes in first, pushes this shutter down, and opens up the live and neutral. If the earth pin weren't longer than the other two pins or you didn't have an earth pin at all, you wouldn't be able to push it into a socket.